Well, Keisha and Scott, police estimate between 50 and 60 casings are left after this shooting earlier this morning. I want to show you one little area that really illustrates exactly what happened out here. And it's this little nook right here. You can see more than a dozen circles right here. Now, each of these circles represents where police found evidence related to these shootings. And this is the head of the Neighborhood Association calls for someone to step forward with information. Now, according to police, two groups started shooting at each other after leaving the Juke House at 18th and Highland around 3 this morning. One person was rushed to the hospital from here. A second person flagged down paramedics near downtown and was taken to the hospital. A third showed up there by private vehicle, and a fourth was grazed. This evening, the head of the neighborhood association here said last night's events and a cab driver who was murdered just up the street from here earlier this month shows more must be done. There's no snitching when uh, there's gunfire because then, then we've escalated to out of control. So we just need to stop that by any means necessary, whatever way we could do as a community to come together to stop the violence. Now back out here live, you can see those evidence marks again. As I mentioned, between 50 to 60 bullet casings recovered here earlier this morning. Now investigators tell us they're also actually looking at dash cams from inside police cars, hoping that will help this investigation. Live near 18th and Vine, Eli Rosenberg, KNBC 9 News.